just like to say thank you to everyone who did submit a question. I know it's been quite a while since submit them. However, we can uh, still get them done. So first on the main line, who was in the chat earlier, Jaden asked, what were my favourite games consoles? So I'd say for that, my favourite games console would probably be the Xbox, because I've had an Xbox since 2016, I think. And it's just a really nice console. The controllers, you know, it's not like a PlayStation that they're at really odd angles and you're all the way out here playing, which is what it feels like when you've been on an Xbox. I do think that Xbox is the best console. I don't really like PlayStations because, well, I just don't. I mean, if I'd have, if I, if I, my first console would have been a PlayStation, well, my first console and only console um, so far would have been a PlayStation, I'd have probably been saying I don't like Xboxes, but I just seem to like Xboxes and generally people at school have an Xbox, you know, more. it's more common for people to have an Xbox than a PlayStation. And also because it's made by Microsoft, you can still play with people if you're on a PC with people who play on Xbox because it's Microsoft. So, yep. Yeah, Thank you for that question, Jaden from On The Main Line. Um, favourite co games console is an Xbox. What was your favourite game? Now, you're probably expecting this to happen, but my favourite game is indeed Train Sim World or Train Sim World 2. Train Sim World 2 followed by Train Sim World and then probably followed by things like Microsoft Flight Simulator, probably Minecraft and then Forza Horizon 4 and then 3 after. Train related, anything train related I'm going to like, so Train Sim World 2 and then Train Sim World 2020 come after come. Um, and yeah, I am honestly kind of a big fan of simulators. I do like, obviously, Train Sim. I'm really liking when I go around to my mate. I don't have Microsoft Flight Simulator, but the flights I've done on that are really interesting and I do really like that. And uh, Forza as well. Forza 4 simply because it's in Britain and, well, it's in your home country. It's like, you know, Train Sim World been released and your local station's in there. Um, it's just something that's really good. So, yeah, favourite games, definitely Train Sim World 2, then Train Sim World 2020, uh, then I said Forza 4, then Forza 3, and then Minecraft. And Minecraft sort of come all in one. Timber Valley, thanks for your question. And you have said, have you got any plans to come down in Worcestershire? Now, I'm not exactly sure what is in Worcestershire, and yes, I am Googling this. Um, no, I don't want Worcestershire, just Worcestershire sauce. I don't think we have anything to do in Worcestershire. We don't have any plan stuff, but I don't know. Me, when I'm older, I might do. I'm looking at some pictures now, and it does look like a fairly nice place. I'll give you that. I presume that must be local to where you live, otherwise you wouldn't have asked that question. Top 10 things to do in Worcestershire. Water sports. There's some gardens, cultural and theme tours. Got a railway in Kidderminster. Yes. At some point I'd like to say I'll go to Kidderminster, which is in Worcestershire. So, yeah, because they've got a railway, haven't they? Again, Googling. I have not prepared for this stream at all. Seven Valley Railway, thought it was. So yeah, I'll probably come down there when I'm an adult. Worcester Cathedral. Worcester, sir. I don't Worcester. Yeah, Worcester Cathedral. Oh, Safari Park, very nice. And they've got Malvern Hills. Very nice. So yeah, I dare say that at some point in my adult life I'll be down to the Seven Valley Railway. So uh, yeah, in the future I'll have some plans to come to Worcester Timber Valley. But as a family, no, not at the moment. So, we've done those. So, some frequently asked questions now, not necessarily from people directly or from one person. Um, so, frequently asked questions, what is my favourite locomotive? Now, I'm pretty sure I have already answered this question in a video. I've done favourite steam loco and I've done favourite diesel loco. As you know, my favourite steam locomotive is the standard class 4MT460 in uh, BR green, if you like the red lining, not the black version basically, the BR green version, um, not the tank engine version, the tender engine version, I always have to specify that because if I don't then it'll be the wrong engine. Um, and my favourite diesel loco in the favourite diesel locomotives view special video, um, I believe I either said a class 37 or a class 20, at the moment um, I'm more feeling like a class 20, it can sort of switch between the two but Either a 37, a 20, or an 08 is really nice. Um, go go watch the videos. If you just search Hybrican Model Railway, favourite diesel locomotives, and Hybrican Model Railway, 
favourite Steam locomotive, you'll find like the top 10 in that list. So that's one frequently asked question. Another frequently asked question is next plans slash job on the layout. Now that's the next job start putting hills in. So I'm not sure if you can see, you won't be able to see on this camera, but in this lit over here is where my laptop is stood. Now this here, this bit, the end of where my finger's pointing at here is where the end of the siding is. Um, and just behind here, the coal and water side, and I'm going to start putting some hills over there, and then all the way over there, just behind the camera, where the end of my finger's pointing on the board over there, um, I'm also going to start putting... So the next job to do is to acquire some polystyrene and start crafting some hills and getting some landscaping done. Next frequently asked question is, what is my next locomotive going to be, and when am I going to get it? So my next loco, well, or next fad, unless I see something in a car boot sale for like 50p and I buy it. Uh, the next planned locomotive I have to Class 37 Comet um, from Hornby in BR, large logo blue with the yellow nose ends and the black cab surrounds. Very descriptive, I know. Uh, and that's coming, I think, spring 2023. So a while ago, uh, a while to go, yeah, but it gives me a chance to spend some more money on the layout instead that I've saved up. So yeah, next planned loco is a Class 37. Somebody asked, what's my favorite track? Is it Pico, Hornby, Set Track, Flexi, etc.? Layout is, well, probably 80% of my layout is made from Pico Set Track and some other bits and pieces that I couldn't get from Pico or off, you know, the website I was ordering from didn't have Pico. I'd probably say the other 20% is Hornby set track. And on Flexi track or I think it's called Streamline or stuff like that because the geometry is a bit weird. You need tiny little, you need like tiny little bits of track just to make up a few centimeters. So yeah, I'm not a fan of Flexi track because once you've bent it, it's very difficult to get straight and then you have to buy like curve shaping, idiot equal all the way around. And yeah, and it's just not something I'm a fan of. And as you can see by the cameras here, I've managed to make a really decent layout with all the features I wanted on it, purely with um, set track. Obviously, um, benefits of Streamline or Hornby Express points, and of course the curve is less vigorous, but I am gonna, most of my coaches, especially Pullman and the Virgin ones are quite new, only the trying ones that sometimes derail. Um, but yeah, thankfully my board is, oh right, okay, the signal's just gonna kill itself while we're in the middle of it, is it? Um, but thankfully my board is really flat and I don't have any problems with like derailing on points unless it's a really old coach or anything like that yeah so uh, it's probably forget it that can stay over there uh, my layout is predominantly 80 percent pico set track and the other is probably 20 percent um, all my points are peak they're just the tactile feedback and how they feel to switch over by hand because i don't have motorized points and um, just feels so much nicer than the hornby ones because these do click into place. I do have one Hornby point, which is the back of that siding over there. Literally at the end of my finger there. That's the only point I have because I bought a, bought a Hornby point and replacing it. I bought a Hornby point to do track planning because they didn't have a right hand Pico point when I was ordering. Um, but I'm too cheap to replace it and it very gets very rarely gets used in that runaround around side in there. So yeah, I don't use it. So they are some frequently asked questions out of the way. Another one from on the main line, on the main line is definitely the top question asker, which is certainly not a bad thing. You don't learn if you don't ask questions, I suppose. Uh, on the main line has asked, what are your favourite crisps? I would have to say that my favourite crisps are either um, the Sensations, are the Sensations, the Sensations Sweet Chili ones, um, Pringles Originals, or, well, Sensations Sweet Chili. Pringles Originals, Sweet Chili, or Pringles Originals, or Doritos Chili Heat Wave, or Kettle Sea Salt and Balsamic, Balsamic, however you say it, vinegar. Um, yeah, I just like them. Doritos, tasty, the, the flavoursome, the spicy, but the tasty, they're not blowing your face off like the Flaming Hot Doritos ones that I had the other day, but let's not get onto that. Pringles Originals. They're just nice crisps. They're a weird shape, I suppose, for crisps. But they're very nice, very tasty. And I do like salty things. So that's why I like Pringles. Um, essentially, I don't even really like um, stuff like that, like foreign sauces. But for some reason, those are just really tasty as well. A little bit of kick to him, as I say, not going to blow your head off. And um, what was the other one I said? 
kettle kettle chips, sea salt and balsamic vinegar or malt vinegar, can't remember what it is. They're just really, really nice crisps. So yeah, they're my favourite crisps. Next question is from A Train Too Far who has said, how many times have you been to a heritage railway plaque museum? Right, I best think about that. So, let me think. When I was younger, too, too young to remember it, I went to the NYMR. I've been on the... I suppose it's not really a heritage railway, it's the Scarborough Bay Railway, but I've at least two times, maybe even three. Um, I've been to the NYMR in a recent train spotting video um, around Christmas. Um, so I, I went to Pickering and then I saw the train. And then, yeah, so I went to Whit uh, Whit the Whitby station earlier in the day on the NYMR. And then further on, I went to Pickering. So I'm going to count that as two separate journeys. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then there's a local little railway near us, which is not really, you know, a proper railway. It's like a little light, like narrow gauge thing, seven and a quarter inch gauge, I think it is, five times. So at least ten times I've been on some form of, you know, volunteer run railway or like that. So yeah, at least ten times. Of mechanical type of channel. As I've said, our petrol engine um, won't run too much of more away than that but yeah i definitely have sort of an engineering job of working to be fair um i haven't got the obviously now i haven't got the tools for woodworking because i'm spending money on t railway but i suppose yeah i'll probably try and set up a little woodworking shop in one of the sheds and make a channel obviously i like woodworking anyway but if i weren't investing money into railway t railway then i'd probably have a woodworking or engineering or electronics channel or something like that Final two from on the, lane, on the main line, and final two for this stream, in fact. On the main line has said, thoughts on the Elizabeth line, so that's a cross rail. I'm not really sure, I'm not really as clued up, or glued up, is it clued? I think it's clued up on cross rail of the Elizabeth line, as it's called, um, as I probably should be. Um, I'm not really, if, there, if it is making a difference any times, and taking, you know, load off the aging tube system, and bus system, and stuff like that, and taxis, and I suppose it is going to work, but like HS2, it makes, what is it, is it going from like Leeds to, Leeds to London, like 20 minutes quicker, they're spending all that money, there's so many billions of pounds over budget, it's not really going to make that much difference, it's going to ruin the landscape, take land off farmers, you're going to have massive bridges ripping through, you know, local areas and farmlands, but obviously it's underground, you don't have that problem, but honestly, I'm really not aware of how much difference it's making. I know they had something like a million passenger journeys in the first week, so yeah, all of those aren't just train spotters either, so I, I definitely do think it's making a difference. The trains are very interesting, they're very nice trains, I do like the purple theme of it, and um, yeah, so I'm not actually, can't exactly form a solid opinion on whether it's worth it or not, but I haven't heard anything particularly negative I have with HS2, so um, yeah, that's all I can really say on that one final question of today's stream and the final one from on the main line in fact on the main line has said if you could drive any train on any line what would it be and what line would it be what would it be what so what train would it be and what line would it be i'd have to say this is my elbow by the way um, i'd have to say it'd be a standard class 4 mt in br green the tender engine version just have to specify that again for the 14th time um, so it'd be that it'd be that steam engine it'd either be that well it'd be that my second choice it'd be a 9f and my third choice let me think about this would probably be like flying scotsman or tornado or something like that or duchess of sutherland um, or duchess of hamilton or mallard duchess of hamilton and mallard don't work Anyway, we'll not get into the debate about whether Steam because that'll end up with a massive rant about how Flying Scotsman's only got 3% of its original parts, yet they refuse to restore my ladder. <coughs> Sorry, what was that? <coughs> Sorry, that just slipped out. Um, but yeah, and for diesel engines, it'll probably be, in no particular order, a 37 or a 20 or an 08 or a 47, something like that. Thank you everyone indeed for submitting all your questions and thank you for supporting my channel all the way up to well past two years on youtube now thank you for all your help and support thank you for your loyalty and 
course, thank you for continuing to like my videos, to watch my videos, and for subscribing to my channel and helping me grow. We are on 300, no, 299 subscribers we're on now. So we're getting close to the big 300. So we're really happy when that happens. And uh, yeah, just like to say thank you for supporting my channel for the past two years. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you again soon. Take care, and bye for now. Thank you.